We buy the clothes, we look good, but our souls remain so depleted. And I was thinking about why are we shopping around for happiness, which is so temporary, when there's joy that is sustaining. And I thought about all the things that the Bible and also from personal experiences of people who live with joy, who have a sense of joy. And I recognize that joy comes from some essential pearls. I mean, this is not the all-conclusive, and um, I'm not saying that everything here will, is all that you need. I mean, there's certain values that people walk with, but they don't know how to keep them and sustain them. But for example, this book have give pearls like forgiveness. Some people say, I ain't forgiving, he, he do me something wrong. But the reality about it is that if you are don't forgive, you are held in prison by unforgiveness. I know a lot of people who've gone to their graves for unforgiveness, but it's such a beautiful pearl because when you forgive, you let go. And a lot of the cancer cells that want to live in your body, they're gone. I have had testimonies. I've seen people die so painfully because they were holding on. I've seen people anger had their face so ugly, distorted, and when that anger was let go, they're the most beautiful people. This book also talks about another pearl called humility. And humility is something that we people get so, they get money, they get so puffed up. And if you are able to walk humbly, you can achieve so much joy. Humility is something that people lose sight of. They think humility is only for poor people. But if you look at some of the richest and the most joyful people in the world, they may not even be Christians. They walk with a sense of humility. But I know pride comes in, and pride is what kicks it out of heaven. So humility is something that I, in my own life, I say, like, you know what? Why am I walking around pride, prideful? I have no say in tomorrow's forecast. I could walk out there and break my foot right now, and a beggar on the street could be the one who can come and pick me up. And you know, a lot of hum humble people, they, they're exalted. You know, like we, we, we feel this thing and we walk with this thing, but we are nothing. You know, people die alone each day. And then there's another one called gratefulness, thankfulness. Like some people are not thankful. They, they don't recognize that the air that they breathe, everything that they have, they're so ungrateful, they're so into fulfilling the next moment that they don't look and say, what can I thank God for this morning? What can I wake up and be grateful for? Even if you're not a Christian, there's something in your life that you can be thankful for.